is that? Can we go in there? Oh, are they gonna come out? Hello? <gasps> oh my god, hey, what up, boys? Here, have a grenade! Was that me? Oh, my God. oh, they called backup. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are not leaving. Inaccessible. What are you doing? Hello? No! The last 24 hours in the gaming community has been absolutely wild. At the time of me recording this intro, it's officially. Starfield's early release, early access launch, which is September 1st. I've seen some of the reviews. Listen, this game is not perfect, okay? There, there is issues with this game. I don't think it's a seven out of 10 though. I, I've seen IGN and I think it was GameSpot. I'm not sure who else it was. They gave it a seven out of 10. I think personally, this game is an eight out of 10, personally. I don't mean that in a bad way. I think an eight out of 10 is actually a good, a good score. If you went to school, an eight would be, you know, about a 10 would be what, like a B? With that said, I still don't think I'm entitled to a proper review or opinions of this game just because, I mean, I'm 20 hours into the game, but I feel like I've done absolutely nothing. And from this point on, I'm just gonna start tackling the main quest. Everybody keeps saying it. You have to do the main quest to really get everything to open up and understand everything of this game. Then, really start and explore and, and do all these crazy things that that's where this game is truly going to shine some of the issues that i've had so far minor bugs here and there like characters appearing out of nowhere i realized that when when you're in your spaceship and this took me a little while to figure out because i didn't really i just wanted to get there quickly but then i tried to actually use my spaceship to travel to a planet and i've realized that you cannot really travel to a planet with your spaceship the only thing that you can do with your spaceship is obviously battle other spaceships and, you know, dock them and whatnot and just warp to a planet and land. I have a little bit of an issue with that. It, it's no big deal. It would have been a really nice touch, but obviously with the magnitude of, of, of the game, maybe it wasn't possible. You can only put so much into a game. And one of my other issues so far with this game has been the inventory and the management of that and how it works like why is it that i can't tell my partner to pick something up and put it in their inventory why do i have to pick it up then press start then go to their inventory then give it to them then press start and back out and that whole process after doing it for 20 hours considering there's just so much to grab has been a little tedious I i'm not gonna lie inventory could definitely be improved and i think somebody mentioned it as well on twitter i cannot remember the name right now which i didn't think about but I kind of spoke about it on the first episode. It's really hard to find like stores and stuff when you're in a particular POI because there's technically no map. Like you you could go to the maps and, and you know, like the star map and the planets. But when you go into one of the planets, I don't think there's like icons on a, on a map where you can like, okay, this is here, this is there, let me go there. I don't think, I don't know. Some of these things I feel like should have been there. But aside that so far, I'm having a really fun time with this game. In this video, we ventured off. We went to Vladimir's house into a planet that the enemies are like level 40, 50 and so on. And so we we went there and we managed to get some really good loot, as you guys will see here. And um, we also bought our first spaceship. So it's a really exciting episode. So far, I'm still, you know, messing with the game, exploring it as much as I can while trying to do the main quest. But from now on, we're probably really just going to tackle these main quests because I hear the story at the beginning, which is where we're at, is a little eh, and then it gets really good. So I kind of want to get to that point where it gets really good and um, just kind of give my opinions maybe later on throughout the next couple of episodes. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to Starfield. So you might be wondering why we're back here at Neon, considering our last episode finished off with Neon. Well, I'm happy to announce today, right here, right now, we are about to purchase our very first ever spaceship. And I'm so freaking excited, so we're just gonna get right into it. Now, I know that you can actually... 
Woman, do not interrupt me. Who do you think you are? I know back over at our home planet, if you will, we can buy ships as well. And they do have different ships. But there's one here in particular that caught my eye. Hey, what can I do for you? I'm sure you can find something you like. And mind you, they have one back back home that is even better than the one that we're about to purchase. And I'll show you guys eventually, but it's way out of our budget. It's within like the 200,000 range. But here they have, they have this one. And it is just absolutely enormous. It's got um, decent fuel. It's got the hull, 490. Cargo capacity, 2660. But then we've got additional rooms for the crew. We've got one more crew member as far as capacity goes. If we take a look at our ship, it's got 50, 366 capacity, and 450 for cargo. When you compare to this behemoth, it is, it's just night and day difference. Oh my God, 94,000 credits, jeez. You have now purchased a new home ship. Your previous home ship has been added to your fleet. To retrieve ships in your fleet that you have left behind, go to a ship service technician at any major city and ask to view the ships that you own. From there, you can cycle through the ships in your fleet and select make home ship to retrieve it let's back out of here and let's take a look at our new <laughs> ship <laughs> for the love of god that thing is massive oh my goodness <laughs> she's huge oh who is that In that little ass ship get out of here look at this behemoth oh my god let's go inside Ooh, do you got some med kits for me of course you do you've got trauma kits you got it all baby dude i've i've got to take a look at this i have things for you Say hello. We've got a fucking little office too. Well, we technically had one on the other one, but nothing, nothing like this. This is crazy. We've got jellyfish. You ever seen that? Or at least they look like jellyfish. We've got lockers. Yes, infallible one. With free digi picks. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. We've got a. Is that a bed? Is that a couch? We've got a nice a chair. Oh, this is. Look at my fan living all good. So when you buy a ship, it comes with some extra goods. I like it. I'll leave it there because I'm not gonna be. Look at the view here, guys. You man. Everybody here on this ship. Nobody better complain. I just spent nearly a hundred thousand credits. And making you guys live comfortably. Look at this, man. This is so crazy. Oh, damn. This shit came with clothes and everything. This is... They, they, they hooked that up, boys. Sheesh. All right. Let me go to the second floor of my ship. Thank you very much. Oh, you can actually climb. I thought it was going to transport us. I like that you can climb. Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do not tell me we've, we've got a third floor because I'm about to lose my shit here real quick. No, we don't. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me triple confirm. Yeah. Bro, what is this man? <laughs> this thing is massive, bro. Let's go. You know what that is, right? You know what that is, right? It's my cockpit right there. Bro, this is insanity. This has got to be one of the coolest things we've done so far. Oh my God. I'm geeking out. 
and this, this I'm not even ooh, okay kind of trash but it's free I'm gonna hit crew and I'm going to assign some new members so I'm gonna assign her obviously I'm also going to I could do Barrett he's pretty good when it comes to that type of stuff and we can do Sam Co I'll put her here okay she's here already Barrett and then Sam Co yeah perfection that's good that's really good that should help us out with just a bunch of stuff got a new backpack i don't know if you guys also noticed but we started off with the constellations uh spacesuit and i think we're ready to go the only thing we have left to do honestly is start like an outpost you know we can talk with sam ko as well what happens if i go into the jump seat let's see all right we can just wait here I figured. In today's agenda, we have going further into the unknown. And of course, we have to meet back again with Vladimir and find out more about the artifacts in the fringes of space. Now, before we do that, I wanted to go here to the activities and I wanted to tackle this quick activity, which is somewhat correlated with this character. And that's to visit Vladimir's house, which is something he spoke of about an episode or two ago. And we never did it. We go all the way over here and it is really, really far. Okay, to the point where I, I don't even think we can travel that far. Now, I want to see. Never gets old. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we good? Yes. Okay, we are. This is level 35. We're getting a little bit closer. See, unexplored route. We just can't. We, we, we cannot go there. We have to kind of go to these areas and unexplored. It doesn't let me. You have not explored every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. It does become a little time consuming. Tedious to do this. Whoa. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh, hold on. Unknown vessel. Colonists here in distress. Well, thank you for responding. We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with a uh, list, and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grab drive is old, like really old, and I'm afraid it's given up the ghost. Hmm. What's list? The League of Independent Settlers. They helped us choose a new home, outfitted us, and gave us some good advice. But uh, once you head out, you're kind of on your own. We've got to be very careful because these people here are much higher level than us, I would assume. Sounds like uh, you're in a tough spot, so you're stranded in this system, then. And we're just two jumps away from starting a new life. Mm. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Mm. Then we should be able to jury-rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. Well, that's... that's... Wait, what? Nice! That should do us. Thank you. And this should cover the iron, and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. Okay. Okay. You know I'm not just gonna get out the ship. I'm gonna get up and walk down the ship down the ladder which is eventually probably going to be a little exhausting and get kind of boring and tiring but right now talk to me 
I'm not talking to you, man. I'm going to this guy's house. I'm but see if he's got some pot in there or something. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I only said that because it's like greenery everywhere. Probably shouldn't have said that. Never mind. I meant pots, like to plant trees and stuff. I don't know what you guys are doing or saying. But... Bro, like, <laughs> I cannot get over the size of this brand new ship, bro. My goodness. They've got wildlife here, too. Hello. Very cool. What happens if we kill these boys? Come here, come back. Nice. Oh, it's a little baby. Uh, fuck is that? Can we scan more of them? Yes, 25 scan, 38. Metabolic agent. This place is filled with life, man. Look at this. Come then. Meet your death. Uh, corrosive gas. Got to be very careful here. A very different planet. We are not familiar with these parts. Spreading pokeweed. What does your scanner review? Alright, we're probably going to head back. I know there's a there's something up ahead. I think I just saw it. But I want to go back to the ship so we can... Just got to get out of this place. Corrosive gas in the area. We got his villa here. Lavishly. Okay, let's go inside. I don't know who would leave their doors open, but I think he probably gave me a key. I don't remember right now. Wow. Wait, did he say he lived here by himself? He didn't have any kids, a wife, a husband, whatever the heck he's into. He, he was just here by himself. Okay, I can respect it. A man of solitude. Wish to make too many assumptions about where the credits for all this came from, <laughs> but it seems that crime does indeed pay. That's what I'm saying. This guy's rich. You know what that means? We're here to steal it, baby. Or perhaps not steal it. We're we're here to borrow it, right? Because he's our friend, and he would totally let us borrow it. All right, let's go up top here. Don't mind me and my loud ass footsteps. Oh shit. Are these different resources? Hmm. Interesting. Let's go back to this view. That was stupid. Very, very stupid. Now, I just want to make sure that we don't miss anything on this last and final room. This seems to be the kitchen and a calibrated. Okay, I think we have one of those, or perhaps even more than one, maybe like two or three. Matter of fact, and as we've learned, do not just loot anything just for the sake of looting, it can easily backfire. looting for the sake of looting. Yo, this guy was living good, man. I swear, straight up. Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna go 
rope top. I'm sure there's nothing here. Little crates. A lab outfit. I think we had one of those earlier. So this is his home. This is where he came from. This is where he lived. And I think it's actually pretty awesome. We have a cave over there. I wonder if we should go there. Should we go there? I mean, it's not that far, right? Actually, it is kind of far. But, let's just check this out really quick. Damn it. Wow. We can also start, um, we, we've got that one 100% scan already, but this one over here, um, we're still too far. I had this upgrade as well, just to be able to do that. So we're able to scan these things a little bit further, but maybe we did scan it. I don't know. Look at that, bro. Look at how beautiful the lighting in this game. It's something about the lighting that hits these like certain angles in this game. It's so stinking nice. Got to be careful with the drop here. <laughs> this place looks more alive than Earth. If you guys missed that video make sure you guys go check it out we we actually went and visited earth and the moon and, you know sadly for us as earthlings this might be uh this planet might just be a bit more impressive Let's see what we got here oh there's a structure up there the cave this is the cave oh hold on whoa would you <laughs> she just popped up here let me ask her really quickly uh, hello oh hello long time no see i keep whatever you give me yes just I that know. is the deal I, I know that that's why we're talking let me see yeah she doesn't have the miner until next time maybe these guys have it they don't look like miners. They look like scientists that have been bent over backwards. <laughs> the fucking suit, dude. I will take uh, membrane. I hope wherever you store that, the smell will not be an issue. Nice. Thank you. Whoa. Zoologist. Man, I was really thinking we can loot this. I don't understand why this is considered a cave. Where's the... Ah, I see. See, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Oh, boy. Man, we need... We, we need, uh... Holy smokes. scanned everything. We just don't have uh, the cutters. Ugh. Oh, these are dead. <laughs> I am an idiot. These guys are dead. A dung pile. What the fuck? What's over there? That looks really disgusting. 
What the? F okay, I'm a little nervous. Talk to Clover. Everything here is dead. Did we just go full circle or what? Huh? We just went full circle. Hold on a second. Yo, did we just get played? I guess it does pay to scan shit. Sheesh. And your scan shows. Hmm. What the hell? We're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. Fine, it's dead. We're alive. We're here to survive, damn it. Girl, you better get up. Oh, that's a level 60. Fuck. You okay? Heal. <laughs> I had no idea they actually. For selling later or personal use. Oh my god. Alright, let's not mess with those things anymore. We have to see exactly how we're gonna get up there. This uh it seems to be kind of steep here. Let me go around. No, it, it gets worse, but there's there's some sort of sign of intelligence over here. This might be a place. What if this is an area where we just need like a better backpack, you know, better booster, just for the sake of like getting higher up, maybe, because I, I don't think we're going to be able to make it up there. try seem that impossible after all there's a little trail here 
Deserted Freestar Collective Garrison. Hmm. What the fuck? It's deserted. Shouldn't be anybody here. Oh, God. What the fuck? Whoa. You guys said this was deserted. Let's get inside. This is an outpost. You, you good? Oh, shit. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, this is amazing. I'll take that. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Oh, these guys have been here for a while. Yeah, they've been here for a while. So if we clear out an outpost, can we just make it ours afterwards? That would make sense, right? Wait. <gasps> oh, shit. There's people here, man. you what the loot we'll get from these people oh boy unfathomable get off of me reload reload one we have no right all right good reload I, I i need to reload is that her yo chill oh my god There is so much loot in this place. Like, let's go clear them out. I'm gonna go and reload here. Nice. Perfection. You still breathing, bro? Guys, look at this. Oh my. 
stealth laser. Ooh, what is that? We don't have that helmet. Oh my god, we're gonna come up with some crazy, crazy loot here. We have completely deviated from our path. Just to say the least. What? It's too hot here. Oh, that's a level 70. Ah. You know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Come here, punk. Woo. Reload, reload. Reloading. It's reloading too. That's just great. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Grab whatever she's having. Or whatever she had. 2100. Whoa, look at that. <gasps> Ooh. Baby, let's go. These new weapons with these new upgrades. You never stood a chance. All right. I need to shut up. Get to work here. Get to work, baby. Now we're talking. What the fuck happened to this guy? Ooh. Guys, there's so much different, like, loot in this area. It's insane. They're not all dead yet, by the way. We still got one more lurking in the shadows. It would be nice too if you can, like, tell them, hey, pick this up, or hey, pick that up. You know what I mean? That would have been nice. Toxin. I'm really wondering if we could take over these posts. These outposts. I mean, this would be incredible. Can you imagine? How amazing that would be. Are they all dead? I don't see them anymore. Was that the last one? Shit, that'd be... Yes. No, oh, I don't want to talk right. to you. Get out of the way. Hmm. More ammo. I'm going to need that. There's one more locker here. Actually, three, four more. Please get out of there. I'm trying to open that logger. She's just... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Look at this, by the way. Holy smokes. 128 physical? We don't have any suit that does that. Not one suit that we have does that. Oh, <gasps> Yo. Look at that, guys. We haven't even started the first mission for this video. And look at us. Some incredible upgrades. Open the door. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that was one heck of a come up. And the best part about... Oh. I knew there was one more. Where are you, punk? No, how about you? Get freaking wrecked. 
Man, these guns here are nasty because they're all super modified and shit. Will you relax? Yeah, they're all modified, so they're like super OP. It's funny, today was the first time I had to explain to Ryan what OP meant. He comes back from school and he's like, Hey dad, can you uh, help me get OP in uh, The Legend of Zelda? And I'm like, OP, what, what, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, my friend uh, so-and-so told me uh, how to get OP. And I'm like, uh, okay, what, what do you want to get that's OP? He's like, you know, get OP. And I'm like, Ryan, OP is what you refer to something when something is... OP, like overpowered, like it's very strong. You can't just, oh my God, this is amazing. You can't just say, hey, uh, can I get OP? You gotta, you know, and then I had to explain to him like the whole thing behind. Things can be OP, but you can't just get OP. Like OP has to be applied to something. He, he didn't get that constant. He thought OP was like a gun or, or like a sword or something, you know? In this case, a sword or, or a bow or something because he was playing Zelda. I don't know, I thought it was pretty hilarious. Let's see. Bro, we're getting some really, really nice things here. I am so happy we came here. And honestly, I, 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 I don't know how it happened, but I feel like... How is it that we came to this side of the world? And these people are so strong and we still managed. Like, we've been able to kill these people. You know what I mean? It, it hasn't been, I mean... Oh, hold on. Look at this. This handgun is ridiculous. Like, we've managed to kill these people in, with such ease. Best not leave anything useful behind. I'm telling you, I, I don't even understand how that works. And we've got a... A drill. We should probably give to her. What did you need? Need to see what I'm carrying? I feel like with these upgrades, man, like we're going to be able to withstand a lot of heat for a long time from from these upcoming missions here that eventually we'll we'll have to deal with. Oh, there's probably something really good in there. Damn it. Let me go up there. I feel like something could be up there. Mm. What is that? Thermals. Let's get out of here. Kind of do wish it wasn't this dark right now. I do wish to possibly <clears throat> loot the enemies we've killed. Oh, God. Bro, what is going on with these weapons? My goodness. Everything's so different here. I feel like... I don't know. I'm, I, I hope that eventually with these like crazy upgrades that we've acquired that it doesn't make anything else kind of boring because I feel like this is such a high level in comparison to where we've been. I guess we'll we'll find out. We'll figure it out as we go. So many dead bodies. I do wish they left the dead bodies on the uh, little map down below. I think that would have been really, really clutch. Credits. Mm. More credits. Hell yeah. More credits. I think we took somebody out of here. We might have looted him already. We did not. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. These weapons are crazy. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I don't know what else to say. 
I'm super, super, super happy with this outcome. I am at your service, Captain. All right, guys. So we're back at the lodge, and I figured we've done enough exploring. I'm gonna edit it down a bit, but we've done about an hour and a half. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. Of Vladimir's home planet, of sorts. So, there we go. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. How many more artifacts do you think are out there? No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Hmm. I'm ready. Let's go. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. So we've got actually. I may regret this. Oh but God! There's something I'd like to ask you about. What is it now, Walter? Speak with Walter. Okay, so that's another side activity. So we'll be back, um, and then we'll speak to him. I don't want to speak to him and then like completely ignore his task. There's just again overwhelmingly amount of things to do in this game. So we're just gonna go back here to the star map, and we're gonna head over. We've got two areas. We've got a brand new one. Um, I don't think we've been there yet. And we've got uh, this one, which we're somewhat kind of familiar with. We've been here. I think we have. We're 36% survey. But have we been to Danra? I think so. Hmm. Wait. We're going to the moon. To Sanra's moon. Have we been here? Abandoned cryolab. I feel like we have been here. But I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yeah, this is Podius. That seems familiar. Hello. There you are. It is so rare that someone new comes along. From the sidelines, it's a real treat to see everyone scrambling. It's very profitable as well. <laughs> hmm. Is that your ship? Trident ships are incredibly expensive. This cryptic act is bugging me. Explain yourself, woman. There are rules even I must abide by. Or at least I choose to. It may mean nothing, but I'm rooting for you. Oh, okay. Dude, honestly, I thought we were about to get into some sort of altercation here. Stop playing these stupid games. Uh, rooting for what? Sorry. Can't say. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully all will make sense in time. Good luck. Huh? This is a dance not of my own devising. I hope to see you at a much later date. Hmm. to the right yeah we did okay because we have two areas to go to I thought we had to get back to the ship extreme cold ambience interesting I feel like we have been here before but honestly I don't I don't think we have I know a lot of these planets tend to look very similar or whatnot do you have a drill? I, I wish I could tell these people to just drill certain things. You know what I mean? Like, I can grab the drill right now and start mining, but... You know how tedious that'll be? 
We just have to... We have to do an outpost here soon. We're just gonna have to do it. There is a whole lot of gravity in this... Uh, in this planet. Or, I should say, in this moon. Let me go take a look over here. There might be some rather important things. We're 95% survey. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Brown leather jumpsuit. That's actually trash. You know, one issue I've had with this game is... I feel like the inventory is not too great. And I also feel like it's hard to... I don't know. Like, do we... Do we have a map? We don't necessarily... We have the solar or the star map, but we don't have, like... Uh, I spoke about this, I think, in episode two. I'm not sure which episode, because I've recorded multiple times for one video. But... I have mentioned it before that... Can I... Ooh! Can I touch that? Toxic gas pool. When you are in... For example... In, uh, in our home planet, where we live, where the lodge is and whatnot... You can't really go to like a pause menu and see where all the stores are at. You gotta kind of hover like this and figure it out, which... I don't know, I find it kind of annoying, kind of irritating. And I'm at the point where I really can't give much of a, of a review yet because... I really haven't been playing for that long. Or at least into, you know, in comparison to what this game requires of you. It doesn't mean we're not about to kick some ass. Ooh. You know where I just went? You boys are fucked. I just went to this crazy planet that had some incredible loot. And what you guys have to offer, quite frankly, just ain't enough, boys. Get back up. It's a get back up, punk. Anybody else? Oh, he's over there. That's crazy, bro. So I do enjoy playing on, obviously, first person. Excuse me, third person, much better. But first person is great for when you're like looting these areas like this. What is this? A mono propellant. Industrial workbench. Got another suit here. I'll take it just in case. Excuse me. I do like how you can see her patches there, and then you can see what perks she has, what skills. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go back down here. Yoo-hoo! Oh, shit, it's cold over here? Oh, hold on. Oh, we've got some vents there. Going through there. Let me check this out over here. Perfect. Oh shit, he did. Sorry, I'll, I'll take I'll take whatever you got though. Yeah, we're most definitely we should be fine here with what we have. Damn, I thought that would blow up. Again, I'm just super happy that I did what I ended up doing. And that was, uh, you know, going to that other planet and looting it. I'm, I'm really, really happy we, we went there. Oh, that's not fire. That's fucking ice. Of course it is. Look at 
this. This thing rips, dude. This handgun rips. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Credits. This thing absolutely shreds them, dude. Thank you. What do we have here? We've got some uh, super cooled magnet. I might get that just in case. Is there another note there? Lars, I brought this up before, but Shannon doesn't seem to grasp the situation. If we don't do something about the system connectors for the cryogenic projects, and there is even a minor failure, we could have facility-wide issues. I know you understand this problem, but I want to remind you that the exterior environmental changes are potentially ex uh, exac exacerbating the situation. We cannot control those factors. Please talk to Shannon. As much as I enjoy working with you, I don't want to be trapped in this ice tomb forever. Charlie, that's probably what happened. So, I know where we gotta go. Just let me take a look here. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? Target fled the area. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Hello! Oh, this gun is amazing. It is so freaking OP, dude. My I think gosh. Maybe trying to take a little too much on. Copper. Literally. Maybe just a little bit, but I am quite greedy. I'm being pretty greedy. I'm sorry. Do we have to? From the other side i was gonna say what if we use one of our drills to drill that but i think if we come in through here we should be able to go through that door let's see the computer okay charlie's concerns hey shannon uh charlie wanted me to bring this up but the issue with the lab again uh for what it's worth i think we should at least do an evaluation our initial system setups do not account for the environmental outside the lab you know, R.I. won't let us do anything or fix anything officially if we do not have something solid. We're all on the same ship here. Now that that's out of the way, time to grab a drink. I'll come down by your office after shift two. Lars. Official response. Project uh, Marzana Liaison Shannon Poller Palermo. Your request for additional resources to address the issues outlined in your previous communication has been reviewed. The decision has been made to deny these resources at this time. Evaluated risks are... Well, with uh, acceptable parameters. Shannon, this is important. The issue with the cryo connectors for the lab and the ambient environmental fluctuations we talked about. It's more serious than I originally thought. I think we'll need uh, to halt the current experiments, pause the whole program, and upgrade the labs. We're all in danger here, including you. Please do the right thing and at least have someone look into it. Charlie. From Marie Bacaba. Okay, encryption task completed. My team has completed implementation of the Sesha encryption. All projects or all project data going towards will be encrypted automatically as it uh, is uploaded onto the local servers. I have also personally overseen the encryption of our Marzana project data. I agree the value of this data cannot be overstated and I support it and further any further efforts to lock down possible leak vectors through the scientists and uh, staff here. During our efforts, we have found multiple cases of indiscretion among the staff that pose security risks. As the uh, first additional step, I recommend we prevent any project data from being loaded onto the personal slate. Please let me know how to proceed. Thanks, Mary. I guess it's time to die. Oh, are they over there? How cute, look at them. Over here, stupid. How do we get in that room, bro? Do I really, do I really have? What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna follow this here. Because, uh. Apparently, there's a way to get in there, but. It's not through here. It's probably through here. <laughs> Bro, this gun is so crazy. Hello? Oh, there's more guys over there. Did you pick? Not gonna pick. 
pick up any of this. Thank you. You cannot beat me. Uh, who said that? Hold on. More credits, absolutely. We should be able to get over there through here. I'm almost positive. Oh, I might be using this gun for a minute. This gun is crazy. I also wish to be here. any situation, but Hello. Thank you. Alright, we need a cryogen research lab key. One of these guys might have it. What's also insane about this is that the bullets that I get for the most part are bullets for this weapon. So I don't know, I kind of find it wild that we found this weapon so early on. It almost feels like it's not fair. But we'll be back. Here we go. This place is completely frozen. Alright, Mr. Freeze. The gig's up. Where are you? Show yourself. Look at this. So they shot the glass here and it broke. Interesting. Look at that Grendel, though. It's like a, a short stock, is it? Actually, no, it's got a long barrel. I was looking at it backwards for some reason. But what does this guy have? Oh! Whoa. That's insane. That's the one we have, right? Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Hello? Oh. We got somebody else here. Fantastic. Where is this little punk? Yoo-hoo! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn, those things look good. 666 credits. The Teal Engineer outfit. I think we're going to pass on that. I got you, girlfriend. I got you. Obviously, access up through here. This is a shortcut. This guy's here. Now he's dead. He's got. Not that great for me. Not even valued that much, to be honest. I thought I was going to have a decent value, but. Not even a thousand credits. I hear somebody else around here. Hello? Bro, this place is freaking massive. What is up here? <gasps> Ooh, it's a drill. The final report from Charlie. An unsent message. It looks like my luck has run out. I tried everything to prevent this disaster, and now I might be the final victim. Blame doesn't matter. Everyone involved in this a poor decision making is dead or likely will be soon. If corporate entities are reading this, note that uh, please reported everything correctly and followed all procedures so there should be no reason to reduce any possumous benefits oh my god everybody here died clearly they all freaking died they didn't listen. They did not listen. And they paid the price. Wow. No, I am. Uh. Uh. Thank you. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Oh, I know. place just keeps on giving shit oh did we just find another artifact ah! a starboard whoa you 
have gained quantum essence. You know what I just remembered? We haven't even used this. I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot about our superpowers. Bro, I swear, like I literally forgot we even had that. That is crazy. There it is. There it is. We grab it. Perfect. Might as well get what we can here now that we're here. Whatever we get, we can just take it to the ship and put it in the uh, storage. I don't want to be overly heavy because then we can fast travel to the ship. And if we cannot fast travel to the ship, it's going to be a long way back. Get out of the way! Good one. Ah, going to take more than that. <laughs> All right, that's another one. I'll get one more here. Calumite. Beryllium deposits. Look how much quicker this one breaks. It's insane. Alright, I think we're pretty good for the most part. Just gonna take a couple more. Nice. This one. But yeah, I did not expect the uh, Starborn to, to be so easily defeated. I honestly think it has a lot to do with us going to Vladimir's planet and acquiring these weapons. Which is nuts, honestly. It, it's, it's truly nuts. Now we gotta go ahead and acquire the power on this planet. So, is it a planet? Is it a moon? I think it's a moon. The Forgotten Mech Graveyard. All clear. The land is Alright, Barrett, you ready to play? I was born ready. Hmm. I sent you up there. That was an oldie but a goodie. Well, uh, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Wait, that is the same? No way. From old earth, got the slate to prove it. Hmm. <sighs> well, <clears throat> I may be drunk, sir, but in the morning, you'll still be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that from? Some guy named Churchill. Later, friend. All right, so we're in some sort of mech graveyard. This place looks crazy. Wow. Yo, look at this. Whoa, forgot a mech graveyard. Is that so? We've got a spacer over there. Unfortunately, he's about to die. Ooh. Sorry, bud. That's so cool. I don't want to call it a sniper, but I think it's kind of like a marksman. What do you got for me? Suppressed, uh, calibrated. No, I'm good. I am good. Thank you very much. Yeah, the gravity here is insane. Excuse me. Awesome. Oh, there's another one. Woo! Come here. Come back here, punk. Come back here. Hold on. Let me let me loot your friend first. Where is he? <laughs> he came over here to hide. Sorry. Oh, credits. All right, so I guess just keep following the uh, the icon. Let's go. 
I like this shotgun anyways. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thread lightly. Don't have that many bullets. This one's, believe it or not, even stronger. Soba. What is Soba? Oh, that's that one weapon. I think I'm starting to regret going to that planet, dude. Feels like everything we're getting is just not up to par with what we got right now. We are too strong. God, hey, what up, boys? Here, have a grenade. <laughs> Whoa! Just throw missiles at me? The fuck? Oh my god! Oh, they called backup. Wait, 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 wait! You guys are not leaving. Inaccessible. What are you doing? Hello? No! What is happening? Oh my god! What the f <laughs> Yeah, they were gonna take me with them and the game said nope. That's not part of the plan. God, what in the world? What was that? That's crazy. All right, well, anyways, I'll be honest. I don't want to leave, to be fair. So, just wanted to come here. Let's check this cave out. Scavenger burrows. All right, turn on the flashlight. It's getting creepy in here. Hello? Hello down there. Ooh, more dead people. What is that? Stuck in a cave. Got the Kraken. Stuck in a cave. I hate my life. Going in here for some dumb salvage was a horrible idea. And these things creep me the hell out. There's so much more that we can carry out there. Why do we need to send someone in here? So my bright idea was to draw straws. I figured the odds of me pulling the short straw would be pretty slim. I guess not. Pretty sure I'm bleeding internally and I cannot really move, so there's no way I'm getting out of here on my own. I just hope these jerks out there remember that I'm in here before leaving. What was he talking about? Is it actual robots? Oh shit. Oh, those are like creatures of sorts. Oh, this is insane here. Okay. So we can come this way. Figure out what the hell we have on this side. Perhaps a, a dead end. Seems like a dead end. Okay. We'll keep going. Got some copper. Nice. We have here... What is this? Control rod. Alright, let's keep going. These are two artifacts. We already gathered one artifact. And we're about to find another one. We've completely surveyed the area. That's awesome. Pretty good. More H20. Let's go on the back here. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Let me go up here first. I don't want to leave any loose ends. What is this? Oh. Is that poop? Creature pile. Definitely not poop. Nice. Weapon case. Hold on, what the hell was that? Oh, nice. That's really nice. All right, we'll go straight. And then we gotta make a right at the end. Very ominous. 
gotta be somebody here, isn't there? Maybe another one of these guys. Yep. They, they, they don't want us, bro. They do not want us. Artifacts to the collection. Let's go ahead and check that out. I'm glad to be back. It will be good to have a moment to relax. All right, so we've got two of them. Let's see what happens now. Put them here. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? <laughs> what if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? <laughs> you two better stop before we all drown in seriousness. Noel's right. Cannot abandon who we are now. I'm starting to wonder if this is all worth it myself. Nah, fuck that. We can't stop now. Agreed. We should not abandon our mission when things become difficult. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lots of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Okay, what kind of repairs? Plenty of other people you could ask, Vladimir. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. You are free soon. Can we talk? Short sighted. Go to the eye. Okay. Let's take a look here at our skills, why don't we? And I think we've got uh, three skill points. So, you're probably going to call me crazy. And I've been thinking about doing this one here. The stealth, which adds a stealth meter. I thought I wanted to do that, but I, I really don't care for it anymore. I don't know why. I just feel like it's not that difficult to kill people. I mean, maybe for pickpocketing. Uh, but I'm honestly, I'm, I'm going to do this. Increase the total carrying capacity by 100 kilograms. So, I'm, I'm going to do that. I just feel like I can be able to take more stuff with me is possibly more important. I'm also probably going to upgrade the fitness, which is going to give me 20% more oxygen. For sure. And then maybe just to switch it up a bit. This one seems to be... We've got this one here. Which uh, there's a chance that you'll find extra credits when searching containers. And there's also that one's actually really good. And then there's also this one, the research methods, which reduces the required to craft items. Complete research projects is produ uh, reduced, excuse me, by 10%. That's actually pretty good. I was also going to try the jetpack one. But this one sounds pretty good. And this one, I'm going to go with this. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. That's, that's pretty, pretty fair, I think. So for our next mission, we're going to be heading back into the eye to help Vladimir as he needs some sort of repairs. Several members of the constellation are on their way to help. All right, so we've got four different uh, 
I guess we can call it objectives. Interesting. Well, we've already looted all of this, so honestly. Unless some different areas have opened up. Hold on, I think they're all in the same place. They're all here. Oh, hi. Sorry about that, guys. First and foremost, let's go ahead and speak to Vladimir. Might be doing the checks and marks on the repairs from here. Okay, just in case. Alright, so use the wrenches. You pick up a wrench and help Sarah tighten up the new equipment around the room. That's good. Go on. See who else needs some help. Anything here, Vladimir? Any digi picks? Setting up some software. Wanna test the computer over there? Help Vlad. You could just give my ingenious software a test run. have here the test connection all right testing the computer success marvelous now that is some fine team <laughs> these are some pretty filler sorts of little missions i mean does it get any simpler than this hey you mind helping me weld up some of these panels um it's coming up here we should visit flat more oh this is cool or not never mind we can't use it we just press A on it. You weld a panel, but something behind it begins smoking. Alright, here we go. Sorry. I was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gaps with you. You call it the wrong wires. Station showing red. How bad is it? Bad. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. I won't leave you hanging, Vladimir. Kor and I can stay with you until the eye is back to 100%. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Four thousand credits, not half bad. Talk to Vladimir, no sudden moves. Is this just like a completely different mission or wait, did we just finish that's it? Oh. Oh, that was quick. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. He has what, a scavenger? Or is that another artifact that he has, huh? The scavenger hires every gun and knife willing to chop relics out of their owner's hands for pay, scrapes out any derelict ships his mosquitoes can find. Hmm. Damn it. I thought we had uh, an eccentric collecting unlock. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need the crowbar and bag for this one. Hmm, you think Petrov knows more about the artifacts? He's got a reputation for seeing the gold in things, but he's no lab coat. Thinking he knows it's unique, but not why. All the more reason to clutch tightly. Hmm, wait a minute, Vladimir. I'm not a thief, or you're saying we need to steal it from him? Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. This is I know what I'm asking, but I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sarah with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Oh, Sarah's coming along. I was actually starting to have a change of hearts. I want to go back with Sarah and, uh, you know, do adventures with her instead, to be honest. You really think uh, we'll have to steal it? Give me some time. have a few other things I got to sort out first. And uh, now we're ready. Let's go. Catch a smile out there. 
All right, so Sarah Morgan is available for your crew. Let's see if we can board it. Talk your way in. Oh my God. Ooh! Hello? massive ship holy smokes fine we'll leave you be persuade i have business with petrov it's important no one uninvited board the scow captain's orders uh i've heard stories about your magnificent ship i just wanted to see it for myself uh we're just here to trade nothing else being nice uh asking first i'm getting <laughs> in there one way or another let's start off green here the captain does love letters I'm from Constellation. We want to purchase one of Petrov's relics. No sales Fuck. right now. Go away. What's the harm if you help me? Hmm. Not happening. Fuck Who off. Are you? Some fast talking pirate looking to loot another ship? Yeah, I guess. We're opening fire. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Okay, our hull is low and this is not good. Oh my god! Hold on. Oh my god, assholes! What just happened? All right, so I've come here you should have, hey, to see if we can um, modify our sure. ship. How about it? Maybe some better upgrades for this thing or something, if possible. Okay. Let's go for this. And let's go for this. Accept. So although I don't think those upgrades we did are going to be significant, um, just hoping it helps a little bit. We're going to have to take these guys on here. There's, there's no other alternative at this point. Just, just got to be very selective about what we attack first. All right, we've got this one right here that's really close. I'm going to bring up my uh, shield and bring up my weapons of choice. Alright, so there's a ship. There's another turret over there at the end. This might be best if we destroy this one here. Yeah. Oh, God. Come on. Alright, ship's out. Turning, bro. Stop playing with me right now. Come on, come on, come on. One more turret. Or is that it? Is that it? Yeah, I thought so. Wow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I tried that like a good five times. It was so annoying. Sarah, for the love of God, please. Oh. That is cool. For the love of God, Sarah, please put something on. It's always funny how we're always like, you know, wearing stuff, and our companions are always doing the complete opposite. Not one <gasps> step further. Whoa. Making a break for it? Open fire! No! I don't want to have to do this! You guys forced my hand! What's that? 
Sorry. I honestly did not want to do that. But sometimes... Sometimes you just need some action. Ooh, what's over here? Yo, this place is fucking loaded. Got a regulator. This would be stealing, obviously. They have... What? Ugh. Nasty. Bro, somebody clean up this ship right now. Don't mind if I do. You gotta be careful we don't get caught stealing. That wouldn't be good for business. Yeah, let me just check this area here. My friendly will be. <laughs> Debris field. We got some bolt cutters. Let's loot these bodies. They shouldn't have anything too crazy, I suppose. Credits. Okay. Oh. No! I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this! But you've given me no choice! This ship is massive, bro. What is this? Where's the captain? I really did not want to fight him. This is probably super crucial. Like towards like one of the choices in the uh, in the story that you make. You know what I mean? Probably extremely crucial. And I'm stealing a whole bunch of shit here. Guess they ran away. I guess they did. Sarah, I think they're scared of us. Look at all the credits. Hell yeah, let's go. Just doing a quick little thorough search here. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright, let's go search this way. Inferno mine. Fragmentation mine. Anything interesting here? Let's see. Grenade, more mines. Could go upstairs. Hello? Bro, this little weapon just shreds everything. something different here oh that's nice super cool sorry these guys are aggressive as hell all right i'm gonna have to use uh a little bit more force 
I'm gonna have to use a little more force here, boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can actually peek corners. Check this out. How funny is that? It doesn't even give you a prompt. I just realized that. That's hilarious. That's probably something in the settings that you can change. I like that guy's suit. He's a bull. Hold on. Let me take another. Heal up here. There's a lot going on right now. This guy has some good shit. What is that? That is cool. I'm taking that. I'm sorry, dude. Find anything useful? Oh, we haven't worried about to find something useful. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Should have stayed back there, bruh. What is this? Okay. We have one of them, I think. This shotgun does not fuck around. We've only got three bullets left. I mean, let's pull out the... Uh, let's pull out this one for a little bit. This one's fun to use. I don't want to kill you, sir. Let's just talk. I, I don't, I don't want to kill you. Please. Wait. I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! Good. Alright, tell your crew to stand down. And no one else gets hurt. I'm sorry, Petrov. I don't want to take the artifact by force. Hmm. You left us with little choice. Ah! I see it now. You're in love with the artifact. Just as I am. Oh, a cruel fate brings two people of the same kind together. Go then. Leave my ship with your heart's desire. But the United Colonies will know of your descent into petty piracy. Hmm? C'est la guerre. Oh, take what you want. What's mine is yours. Oh shit. That might have been a terrible, terrible choice. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh my god. I think we don't fucked up. <laughs> we should have just probably killed him. Space pirates. definitely not what I wanted to do I really really like I, I pressed the wrong button and then it was just kind of too late and we have <gasps> contraband cash That's not good, bro. Fuck. That's not good at all. Should we just kill him? I don't know. Yo, we just raided this guy's fucking ship like savages. Look, they have... Wow, they've got... Damn. I wonder if we can upgrade our ship eventually to do this. Harvest the goods from these animals, too. That's pretty wild. Now we're considered pirates. Space pirates. That's not good, man. This is not the reputation I wanted. Damn pirate. So what? We're just going to let you move the ship? That's right. You are. You know why? Because if not, you'll die. 
No, literally. If not, you, you will die. Like, I'll kill you right now. Matter of fact, I still haven't decided if I want to let you live or not. I might just loot you and then, you know, get rid of you. Just never know. Let's see what happens here. You're lucky the captain's a coward. If it were me, I'd say we'd go a few more rounds. Yeah. How's that for a few more rounds, sister? Huh? <laughs> I know this is going to have more. Well, oh. I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. I know this is going to have horrible consequences. I know it. I mean, I, I just know it. Not going to steal that. Don't need that. Let's see. gun here. Did you guys see that? Sarah? Oh my god. She's doing it again. She's getting stuck all over the place. That's a cool helmet. The artifact's gonna be right there. I'm just making sure. You know, a matter of fact, I might take this cartridge of bullets. There it is, baby. Wow, bro. I feel bad. I feel so bad. This guy's get bro, he's gonna get revenge on us. I'm telling you. Now we're in business. Oh. Okay, down. Uh, what? What? They have decided to attack us after all. Of killing him anyways. Oh, look at this suit. Yo, that's so cool. Shit, I'm killing everybody from now on, especially the captains. What is happening? Why are we getting these weird glitches? We've never even had this before. I'm starting to think that maybe... If we didn't kill him, we would have been able to use that vault key. But considering we did, just destroy everyone here. Hey, that isn't yours. Hey, shut up. You saw nothing. Considering we just destroyed a bot, I, I think it doesn't matter. All right, we've been here. We've seen all of this already. I was just wondering where the other guys were at, but I guess... I guess it don't matter no more. How do we get in there? Oh, spoke too soon. They're here. They're here. Oh, look at them. They're so brave. Oh my God. Uh, excuse me. You've got to be out of your mind. Control room. What is this? Door control interface. Open the doors. Don't know what that opened. What door that opened, but... What are you doing, Sarah? Are you stealing? Hey, that's not yours. Remember that? Huh? Remember that? You hypocrite. Let me get some credits here. Shank you. I mean, this guy's ship is literally like an entire town. This is crazy how big his ship is. I mean, <laughs> take a look at everything we've gathered here. And yes, I'm taking it off because I'm going to be selling these bad boys. And once again, I'm really happy that... Uh... Oh, that looks cool. I'm really happy that we've, you know, upgraded our carrying capacity because right now we are at 235 and we have so much more room to keep looting stuff, which is amazing. Alright, 
think we're done. <gasps> oh, hold on. These doors. This door was closed earlier. Was it not? I think it was. Or is this where we came from? Oh, no. Never mind. We came from here. Is it the same thing? Might be the same thing. Yeah, it might be the same thing. that doesn't work we tried we tried didn't work let's get out of here leave the skull all right so add the artifact to the collection so why don't we talk with sarah morgan where is she let me talk to her our ship's actually pretty good you know it's not that bad what can i help you with i don't know they just told me to talk to you I might make her my new permanent partner. I think I like her more now. I don't know. I'm very, uh, I'm a very indecisive man. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's just go here. Um, and go to the lodge. I have good news and I have bad news. Good news. We have the artifact. Bad news. We just killed an entire fleet of people and we killed captain petrov yeah i'm sorry about that kind of vladimir vlad come in oh fuck. come in uh-oh vlad what's going on don't tell me vladimir is dying on us the eyes gone completely dark i i can't reach anyone on the station uh Tell me the last thing that they, they uh, sent. Noel, Starborn, <gasps> came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Huh? Is anyone hurt? Starborn are coming, we need to defend the lodge. Is anyone hurt? Sam, uh, he's, he's still breathing, but oh God, all that blood! Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. The Hunter? The unity? What are you talking about? I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That Starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Vladimir's right. We need to fortify our position before that Starborn storms in. We move out once the artifacts are ready for transport. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Can we just forget about the artifacts and run? <laughs> I'm not leaving anyone. I'm going to go to the eye and rescue our friends. Hmm. Fuck. Hmm. Damn. This is a hard choice. I understand if you want to go. But I need you here. Please, I... I don't know what's going to happen once that Starborn shows up. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Okay, the story's Hopefully picking up. this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone, find a place to take cover. Where? You would expect them to Open the lodge them. or go to the... Just don't stand out in the open, Walter. Shit. Could you all keep it down? I just need a little time. Fuck. Okay, okay. We'll stay here. 
Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll defense. People are gonna die over there. What? Walter, are you all right? The fuck? What? Bro, you dead, bro? Oh no 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 no! Not against my handy dandy handgun. Kind of machine pistol. I'm telling you, bro. Looting Vladimir's planet was a great idea. Escape the lodge. This guy better escape the lodge. Where is he? Wait, where'd he go? No guns, he's freaking fists. What is happening? I guess I guess we're getting bounty because of the, the people we killed accidentally. Wait, 
Wait, what? The fuck? He just re rewarded me? Okay. We didn't mean to uh, harm the star. Uh, we didn't mean the starborn any harm. Why are you doing this? I was merely taking the shortest path to my destination. But now, I think I'll just kick back. Enjoy the long road. The armillary. Is that where the uh, artifacts collection is? Pissing me off with a little laugh of yours. I'm not gonna attack this guy. In case you didn't notice, I have a way of getting around unseen. Although I'll admit, retreat isn't a humiliation I've had to endure in some time. You hmm. should be proud. There's a greater purpose to all this. You might have a larger role than I realize. Good. Keep collecting the artifacts. We'll meet again. What the Maybe fuck? Maybe I'll boost the unity yet. Look alive! Okay, so hold on. Where where are we going now? Because we are wanted. Go to the eye. Okay, let's go to the eye here. Bro, please don't do this. We're gonna die here. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. What? What are you talking about? We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. <laughs> oh my. What is happening? I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. You've got to be kidding me. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. Bro, what is going on? Are we going to prison or something? <gasps> I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Uh. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. Why are they removing everything from my inventory? I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. What the fuck? Who are you? I'm your ticket out of the mess you've gotten yourself into. That's all you need to know for now. This doesn't look like the local jail. They're taking everything away from me. Hmm. Highly perceptive. That may add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. <laughs> Says here that you spent several years as a soldier. That means you understand how to respect the chain of command. Good. I also see that you have mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crossings. Oh, God. I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, 
and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? Uh, you can start by telling me what UC Sysdev means. Uh, why don't you tell me? UC Sysdev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. What's the Crimson Fleet? Uh, if whatever you're selling lets me off the hook, then I'm listening. I don't like where this is going. Let's go down here first. On the books, they maintain combat-ready spaceborne forces to deter aggression and ensure the safety of the United Colonies. What all that fancy claptrap means is that they're the ones who fight in the wars to keep our territory secure. What's the Crimson Fleet? Are we really playing this game? <laughs> the pirates. Like the ones you tangled with From the beginning the of the game, remember? Please stop pretending you have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay. If whatever you're selling lets me off the hook, then I'm listening. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can to bring it all down. Why can't the UC Sender Armada to wipe out the Crimson Fleet? If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. Hmm. You want me to risk my neck to go undercover for you? Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sysdev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so if I work with you guys, what's in it for me? Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Okay. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any costs that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. I didn't realize, uh, so part of the code of ethics, can't get away with that. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. I'm not coercing you into doing anything. I'm simply giving you a chance to redeem yourself. So, what do you say? You going to work with me? Or should I find someone else? Hmm. Bro, honestly... How do you know... I can even handle this type of operation? If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in lockup. You're just going to have to follow your instincts and trust me. Okay. Do I have uh, to decide right now? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Aw, oh, shit. Fine, you know what? I don't know. Should we go to jail, but we lose everything. I wonder if we accept if we get our stuff back. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Follow the sys, uh, sys death guard to the operation center. Bro. Alright, <laughs> let's go. Fuck, bro. Hold on, let me check my shit. Do I have all my weapons still? Okay, I think I still have all my stuff. I, I don't even know. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new ball, huh? Ship and slow letting the air out of their suit. 
Wow. How do you imagine a worse way to go? Alright, hold on. I want to check this place out. Sarah, by the way. Pardon? I guess keep following the guard or Oh my goodness. Alright. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Oh my god. Alright. Oh boy. So we still have to go to the eye, but we're stuck here. Excuse me. It's friggin' hey. We've been prisoned and now we're being blackmailed in a way. I believe we have something important to discuss. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Hate this guy. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us. I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Okay. Bro, if we attack this, that'd be hilarious. Alright, where's the Vigilance located right now? We are currently in the Soul System, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Okay. You're going to need uh, more than one ship to eliminate the entire fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I assume you've chosen me because I'm expendable. Let's get one thing straight right now. While you're working for me, I'm going to treat you like one of my own. Whatever crimes you committed in the past no longer matter. You're now an agent of Sisdev, meaning that it's my job to keep you alive. Okay, I prefer a more direct approach. It takes more than finesse to catch the attention of a pirate. I assume you already have a plan. Let me see. I prefer a direct approach. Then you're going to get yourself killed. <laughs> so listen up, because my advice might just keep you alive. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Aurora? Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship, and you're looking at some serious fines. But you get the contraband. That's classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously hauling it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. Hmm, she can probably sniff out uh, a narc from a sector away. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Alright, why bother gathering evidence? This is the best plan you've got. We're both in trouble. Why bother? Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. If this is the best plan you've got, no, I don't want to... Tell him that you must have quite a bit of confidence in my abilities. That's a lot to absorb. You know what? Just point me in the right direction. Let's get this shit done. Eager to get going. Good. Remember, 
This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. What if I get over my head? I'm guessing it's too late to back out of a deal. I'm just doing this for the money. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. <laughs> Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Hmm. Obviously, that would mean I'm not even going to ask her. That's common sense. Like, don't be reckless. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. Okay, I can say the course. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here. <laughs> Good luck. All right. How will I maintain contact? That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Oh shit. Do you have any other information? All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. What happens if I get arrested while I'm undercover? For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. Is that her? Oh. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Uh, I think I understand. Why do you need physical evidence? What if I can't find anything? I'd scour every inch of wherever the Crimson Fleet sends you. Otherwise, you're wasting our time and risking your neck for nothing. Criminals are sloppy. Look hard enough and I'm certain you'll stumble across their mess. Okay, that's if I'm accepted into the Crimson Fleet. So basically, you want me to steal from thieves. Rationalize it however you like, but that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Hmm. All right, so I'm confused. Are we trying to imprison the pirates or kill them? Haven't you been paying attention? Our goal here is the complete eradication of the Crimson Fleet. In order to do that, we need to dismantle them piece by piece from within. If you bring me evidence, we can make arrests and slowly drain their resources. Think of it as a death by a thousand tiny cuts. Ugh. Sounds like I touched a nerve. It's not you, <laughs> it's the Crimson Fleet. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Believe me, I've seen my share of hell, Toft. Yes, of course. I'm sorry if I brought up any painful memories. Aww. Oh, uh, one last thing. She's getting soft on a bit us. Of good news, actually. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. Okay. That's very generous. 
It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. Mm. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Hmm. Feel like discussing your personal experience with the Cr Crimson Fleets? Um, what's gonna happen to the people you arrest? What if I get caught with a container? Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC security, mm -hmm. so you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular <laughs> operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. I'll be here if you have any more questions. All right. We still got to go to the eye. I mean, you, you get caught here and then you kind of become part of these people. In a way, we're being blackmailed. Um, but that's how it works. And then that, that just becomes something that we can probably do on the side. I'm assuming. Sarah, I can't believe it. You won't believe what happened. I went to prison. Uh, what the fuck? Huh? Dad, come on. Oh, no. You have to keep your eyes open. <gasps> oh my god. Sam. Sam, can you hear me? It's Sarah. I'm too late. I'm so sorry, Sam. No, this this isn't happening. You need to get up, Sam. He can't. This is it. Oh, I feel bad for the little Cora girl. We'll be fine, okay, Sam. We won't let anything happen to her. Dad! Dad, get up! Get up! Please! Wow. Go away! I told him you were coming. Just had to hold on a little longer. Fuck, dude. I hate you. Leave me alone. Oh my god, bro. Oh man, I I fucking knew we should have came. I listened to Sarah. She said to stay over there for the damn stupid artifacts. He, he came out of nowhere. We were working on the repairs when the ship docked. We ran to defend the station, but after the doors opened, there wasn't anyone there. Then, all of a sudden, Vladimir screamed in pain, and I saw him flying through the air. That's when I saw the Starborn. It went very quickly after that. Wow. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. I feel bad for little Cora. Shit. Okay. I admit, uh, my famous personality wasn't so much help with this one. <laughs> Besides the big ugly one, not that I saw. Hmm. What happened? Starborn ship came in nice and quiet. Just happened to look outside and see it docked. Everyone came running, but uh, no one. Doors open, no one there. 
Vladimir took one step towards the ship and then boom, he's in the air. Slam those impressive triceps on one of the consoles. Cloaking device, maybe? Or one of those powers from the artifacts? Guess they're more than just a party trick, huh? As long as you're all right, Barrett. I'll be fine. I just uh, need to lie down for a bit longer. I'll be honest, uh, Sam, I wasn't really into his character much. He was okay, I guess, but I do feel kind of bad, I guess, because he's, you know, he has a kid and whatnot, but his character to me wasn't, like, really that impactful. Just the whole situation sucks. I mean, maybe not. I mean, if you put it, you know, his deal with him and his father, I wonder what his dad would say now that his son died. You're alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. Did the hunter have other starborn with him? Not many sights to see before I lost the lights. Mm. How broken is the eye? Can't be sure yet. Starborn could have done a lot more damage. Guessing the glitter of the prize wasn't here. How'd he get in? Saw the ship dock with the eye. We took up the arms call, but when the doors opened, there was no one there. Skulked in like a damn specter. Before I had to know, it was nothing but pain's wings and a cold sleep. Time's unknown, but I came too long enough to hear him gloat about going to the lodge and seeing our friends trying to crawl away from him on a bloody trail. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to Noel. Was it Sam? Uh, excuse me, was it Sarah or was it Noel that told us to? Oh. Vladimir. Oh, thank goodness. Where's Sam? What the f- <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is your fault. See what you've done. I wanted to come here. We, uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. All right, so the hunter said he was leaving us alone. Starborn wants artifacts. We need to move them. Uh, we can't find more artifacts without the eye. Hmm. Let's ask him that. Years in the making to modify the station. Take time to fix the damage, but more is the worse if we abandon her and try to start over. Hmm. The hunter said she was leaving us alone. just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... He, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Hmm. That won't really make the large or the eye more secure, will it? Uh, I can build an outpost for it, put up defenses. We can keep them on my ship. Clear from the few encounters we've had, that the artifacts are all the Starborn prize. They could come after us, though. Try to find out where we put them. Need to take the risk. The eye, the equipment in the lodge, not easily moved. Gotta hope whatever is giving the hunter pause applies to the hole. Just need to make another direct hit less the jackpot. Hmm. Keep it on my ship. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. All right, so you can now build the armillary on your ship or at your outposts. There will be a new quest category that contains your... See, so this is why you got to do the main quest, because now if you want to get into the whole outpost building... You can start doing this. I see the the main quest section of this game 
as some sort of just overall massive tutorial because it does kind of take you through all the steps and things that this game has to offer obviously just very slowly because there's a story to tell all right so we'll go to the cockpit here let's get up my ship is all banged up my goodness Wait, do I have to... Oh, I've got to sit on it. Let me undock then. Maybe that's what it is. Un undock. Maybe if we undock. Oh, cool. Get off your ship like this. Uh, excuse me. Shit, now everybody's here. My goodness. This is the armillary screen. Build. You can now move the armillary. Starborn attacks are more likely wherever the armillary is placed. If you choose to keep the artifacts in your inventory, then attacks are more likely everywhere. What the fuck? Our group has one less member. That mm. will lower our overall effectiveness in all areas. Oh, shit. Remove the armillary. Wow. Yo, this place is completely... Whoa. Oh my god. Attention. The spaceport has been secured. Safety precautions remain in place. Please Yo. wait for the all clear signal before exiting your homes. That is all. That's insane. Oh my god, they came and demolished this place. That's wild. We'll get through this together. Holy cow. Now I see why they didn't want me to, you know, the game didn't want me to travel over here because they wanted you to see everything that, it, you know, had occurred. And for the most part, it seems like it happened on the other district, not in this one. Let's see what this place looks like. Alright, Samco's belongings have been moved to the lodge basement. Wow. I'm not sure when things will feel safer. But we have not been attacked again. Constellation has suffered losses before, although none quite so violently. Look, we all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? I was thinking about that too. It has to be related to the artifacts. Exactly. Somehow. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but why not talk to him? Mm, raised universal. 
The keeper talks about unity as a concept, not some discrete thing. It's such an abstract concept. Perhaps it's being left up to our own personal uh, beliefs and interpretations. Uh, I know, it's about <laughs> commitment to each other, the universe, but the Grav Jump pilgrimages take universals all over. Maybe they know something? I'll meet you over there. Alright, so we've got a couple of new things, I think. This one. Oh, shit. That's amazing. Whoa, okay, we're gonna get that then. This this episode just had a lot. Like, a lot of things just... I feel like a lot of things just happened. So apparently I found out that if we didn't shoot anybody, we wouldn't have gone to jail. And oh my god, there she don't is. Don't talk to me. I don't want you here. Leave. <gasps> Bro, this sucks, man. Honestly, now it's... Wow. I'm, I'm really sorry. Just go away. Sam died. Now the more that I think about it, the, the, I'm a bit more sad now, to be honest. I feel bad for his daughter, but um, I think uh, we made a wrong decision. We should have gone to the eye like I wanted to, but then we listened to these people, and well, it is what it is, but just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you are enjoying the series, consider dropping a like. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you guys later.